Hello guys, so for this problem what I want to do, I want to do a simple topology problem where I'm going to have that x is going to be in my topological space and for this topological space what I'm going to have, I'm going to have uh, a to be my subset and for that a, for every time when I'm going to choose a point x inside my a for that point uh, I always can find the open uh, set uh, u that contains x which is going to be subset of a uh, so first we need to remember like understand that X is a topological space and remember that X is a topological space if it's going to be a set uh, with some, some choice of its own subset so in other words we have that we have X and we have like uh, let's call it tau where tau is going to be a subset of power set of X and then for this tau what do we want to have we want to have uh, three properties and you can check those properties in my previous video. Okay, uh, the next thing, uh, let's sketch a diagram that will that is going to represent this problem. So first I'm going to have my set X. Inside my set X I'm going to have uh, a subset A. So the properties that I have over here that every time I'm going to choose point X, around that point I can find U, which is going to be a subset of A. And then if I have uh, the property, what do I want to show? I want to show that A is an open uh, subset in X. Or in other words, what do I want to show? I want to show that uh, using like the topology terms that A is going to be belong uh, to my topology. Okay, so you can what you can do, you can stare at this problem and see like how I'm going to approach. But this problem includes one really important property that we have as a property for my topology. And the property is the following. That if I'm going to have that A and B is going to belong to my topology, then A union B is also going to belong to my topology. So in other words, the union of two open sets is also going to be an open set uh, in my space. And, uh, okay, so let's say I have like two uh, sets. What about if I'm going to take three sets or like n sets? Then any finite collection, if I'm going to say uh, that a i belongs to tau, where i goes from one to n, then I also have that uh, the union of um, a i is also going to belong to tau. Yeah, and uh, also we can extend even more. We can take that not only the union of finitely many open sets, but if I'm going to take uh, let's, I don't know, let's call them uh, bi that belongs to tau and i is going to run over some index set and that index set can be even uncountable then in that case the union of uh, not only fine but like infinite or countable uh, open sets is also going to be open so that i is not equal to 1 it's actually correctly say that i belongs to my index set i and the union of bi's it's also going to belong to my topology. Okay, and we're going to use uh, this property. And how are we exactly going to use this property? Uh, let's just model this. We have our set A, yes? And let's say I'm going to choose point uh, X, and around this point I'm going to have the open U. But I'm going to call this U, U of X. Then I can choose uh, a point Y. And then around this y, by using the previous property, I'm going to have an open set u of y. And you can see every time when I'm going to choose a point inside my set, I'm going to find an open around it. So in other words, my set A can be written as a union uh, of open sets u of x, where x is going to run through uh, set A. Uh, so what do I have over here? Here I have a statement. On the left hand side I have a set A and on the right hand side I have this set of U of X. And what do I want to show? I want to show that those two sets are the same. So uh, which inclusion is like kind of obvious uh, and why do you want to consider inclusions? Because I know that if set A is equal to a set B then this is the same as A is a subset of uh, B and B is a subset of A. So for uh, this problem then, uh, the inclusion from the right uh, to the left, or in other words, 
if I'm going to take the right hand side, it's going to be a subset of the left hand side. And uh, right hand side, that means uh, this is going to be my right hand side. I'm going to use abbreviation. And so this is my left hand side. Then uh, uh, the right hand side is going to be a subset of the left hand side, follows from uh, this property over here that every uh, u is going to be a subset of a. So if uh, u of x is a subset of a for any x, then union of u of x is also going to be a subset of a. And the uh, last one, that uh, left hand side is going to be a subset of right hand side, is going to follow from this picture. It follows because every time when I'm going to choose some point uh, that belongs to my set A, then around this point I always can find U of X that contains this point, but that is exactly what I have over here. Because remember, what do you want to have? You want to have that if I'm going to choose, for example, point Z that belongs to A, I want to show that that point Z is going to be belong to the right hand side. But uh, I'm going to use this as a four, but you can see that Z is going to be belong to U of Z. And U of Z is obviously belongs to the right hand side. So that's why we have that left hand side subset of right hand side. So uh, A is equal to the union of those opens. And then we are done because right now we have that A can be written as the union of an open set U uh, sub X. And we know that this set is open. So since the right hand side is open and left hand side is equal to the right hand side, then A is also going to be open and we are done. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions and have a nice day. Bye.